All right, welcome everyone. Excited to have everyone here for a Web3 and Travel um, conference. Meet the speakers. Um, today, we'll take the opportunity to meet um, some of the speakers that will be at the conference on May 15 in Barcelona. Um, and we'll have a part two where you'll meet additional speakers um, and also get to know what is the state of Web3 in travel. Um, and what are what is what uh, are our speakers going to speak about at the conference um, to get to explore uh, some of these topics? So I would like to jump to Luca, uh, who is the organizer of the event. Luca, hi, please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi, hi everyone. Um, well, I I've been working in uh, in the travel industry for twenty years now in the vacation rental industry precisely. And uh, and since 2017, I launched a DAO, which is Trips Community. Uh, we were trying to replace Airbnb with with a Web3 pro project, but uh, it was a bit too early. And uh, but the journey is has started, and then uh, there's there's many of us now on this journey. And last year we started, uh, we launched the first conference just to you know try to meet basically in in real life and have it, have this industry. Um, like a more more a closer industry since the beginning, so we can kind of coordinate a bit better and com compete a bit less in a way, because we are still the underdogs in general. And it, for the first years, at least, we should kind of try to cooperate. And this is the second time. Um, la last year was very small. This year is a bit bigger. Uh, I mean, this year there's so much more, so many more startups, and I can't imagine the next five years. So. Uh, and yeah, and we are trying to organize this not as my or Chips Community conference. We would like this to be a conference which is owned by the whole industry and also organized by the industry. That's why we launched a DAO, and everybody who helps uh, get a, gets a say in the company, gets a say in the treasury, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's why behind me there's a picture of people working together. Anyway, and uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. Yes, thank you so much. I think this is a great initiative to bring everyone who's building in the Web3 uh, travel space to build together and to shape the future of this industry uh, as we want it to become. Um, so yeah, I would like to hear from the from the other speakers. Uh, please introduce yourself, uh, introduce your company, and what will you plan to speak about at the conference? Um, let's go with Pablo. Hi guys, my name is Pablo Castillo. I'm co-founder and CTO of Chain for Travel. A little bit about my background. I've also been working all my life actually in the travel industry. Actually, my first job was to sell trips for a tour operator uh, to Greece. And um, yes, yeah, since then I made different kind of uh, other jobs. So started working in e-commerce, uh, then also projects, international project management. In that role, I learned a lot about the legacy systems landscape here in Europe and also in, uh, in some other international markets. And uh, yeah, basically two years ago, I left uh, the travel industry and went traveling with my family because I was fed up with the lack of innovation. And Web3 is what brought me back. And uh, together with two um, former uh, partners and also co-worker, we found the Chain for Travel, which is uh, based here in Switzerland. And what we do is actually we build a layer one blockchain for the travel industry. We believe that there are many good blockchains out there. But in order to prevent that again, like we have the same situation today where everybody has complete different systems and there's a lot of frictions involved so that we have one common playground for the whole travel industry. And uh, I will be talking mainly about Camino, why we are building that and what we are preparing the travel industry for the future. And uh, very excited about uh, being part of this conference this year. Last year, I was not able to attend. And uh, I think um, we all share the same goal and dream to bring more uh, education and knowledge to the travel industry. Uh, as Lucas said, we are still the underdogs. It's a long way um, till everybody is. But nevertheless, we see a lot of tractions, a lot of interests, and a lot of use cases. And we will elaborate a little bit that on that in Barcelona. So that's about me. Awesome. Thank you, Pablo. Uh, very exciting to have a layer one that's dedicated to 
the travel industry, right? I mean, I think we, we're seeing a little bit of specializations in layer ones. Uh, we have some that are taking the approach of more DeFi, more gaming, metaverse focus. Um, and it's the first, you're the first one doing it for a specific industry, which is travel. So very excited to hear more about that. Hi, Cynthia. Um, I would love to hear from you as well. So please uh, introduce yourself and what are you going to speak about at the conference? Awesome. Thanks, Carla. Hey, everyone. My name is Cynthia and I'm the co-founder and CEO of D-Travel. I my background is that I've actually been a vacation rental host since 2014 so was one of the first hosts in Vancouver and when I started I was really passionate about hosting and so passionate that I ended up building a global Airbnb host community that I still run today and never ever did I think at that time that I'd eventually end up solving problems in vacation rentals but um, I guess it's just funny how life turns out. And in 2017, I ended up uh, moving over to the Web3 space, or we used to call it crypto back then. And I built a crypto gaming or trading simulation game to help onboard people into Web3 because trading was primarily the way that people were getting into crypto at the time. And it was you know, much more risky. It was a lot more unknown. And we wanted to make it fun and interesting. So did that for a couple of years, but then ran into some issues with Google Play and so had to shut that down, but then met with some of the initial team and then we decided to build D-Travel. So really carrying the torch that um, Luca started basically very early on and hopefully to we can disrupt Airbnb and the other platforms using Web3. And uh, sorry, my talk will be on how to build for Web3 adoption and how to design for that in the travel space, especially if you're building with Web3. That's awesome. Yeah, you mentioned some of the challenges that uh, hosts were running into. Is that something that you're currently solving or you see Web3 being, um, being able to fix some of these challenges? Yeah, Which definitely. So. Yeah, Web3 is all about empowering ownership and peer-to-peer -peer connections. And I think that a lot of the platforms today have done a phenomenal job of making vacation rentals really mainstream. But the problem is that when you have intermediaries, there's always going to be this disconnect and different incentives and alignment, and then ultimately a lot of fees because of these intermediaries. So for us, our mission is really to empower direct connections between travelers and property managers and really just anybody within the travel ecosystem. And we do that through Web3 tools, but some of our products that we've launched already are D-Travel Direct, which is like a Shopify for vacation rental operators so that they can create direct booking sites in minutes that look really beautiful and premium and can build that trust for that peer-to-peer -peer booking. And then our second product, which we just launched an MVP of in collaboration with Travala, is a an NFT travel profile. So you can collect all of your travel memories here in via different um digital stamps essentially, which are also NFTs, and then that will unlock different rewards. And then you'll also be able to create different itineraries as a content creator. So very, very excited about that product. That's very exciting. Definitely looking into like uh, digital identity applications, but for travel, so uh, exploring the new passport, what, what could this become in the future? Uh, which will be completely different from our like old little booklet that, that we're so used to carrying around. Um, so very excited uh, what you have been building so far and definitely looking to learn more about it um, at the conference. Hi, Shayna, would you like to introduce yourself as well, please? Sure, thank you. Um, so Shayna Shaworski, I'm the co-founder leading our product and go-to-market strategy at Legends. I've been in the tech world for the last 11 years, primarily focused on early stage startups in the media, content, education, and uh, marketplace world. Uh, in 2019, I uh, chose the traveler digital nomad path, uh, traveling around the world, which really led me to uncover a lot of the pain points that still exist for the travelers in, in the travel tech world, um, primarily putting the travelers first and providing ownership and rewards and monetization opportunities for their experiences. And with that, we've built legends where we are focused on, on unlocking um, 
currently unused data that the travelers own into a dynamic digital identity, which we call your travel DNA, um, where we transform into this digital identity that exists on a Web 2 perspective as well as a Web 3. Uh, and we're able to uh, uh, convert that into collectibles as the user moves around the world, partner with brands to offer different things to our travelers and really have a uh, one single authorization and profile for the users um, of all of their travel experiences. And so at the conference, I'll be talking about how we are creating this dynamic profile that is owned by the individuals and that is um, enabled for them to monetize and authorize to brands and, and rewards. Uh, and we may also uh, have one of the first user generated NFTs uh, that we'll be able to give everyone at the conference. So if development <laughs> stays on track. That's some exciting alpha right here. So better get yourself at the conference because you're going to get, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, NFT giveaways and air jobs um, prepared by the, the partners and sponsors. So um, this is very exciting and love, love what you're building, Shayna. Definitely needed. Um, so who we have here, Mick, um, please introduce yourself as well, please. Yes, hi, Michele Ruber, Mick, for everyone else who's not Italian. I am a 20 years old professionally uh, internet guy, been there since before the dot-com bubble in pure internet roles and then system integrators. And then I started traveling. And then in 2014, I basically converted travel, not only as a passion, but as a profession. I was a CTO of a hotel chain in Mexico. And then I came back to Italy, coincidentally with, with COVID, and I started working at a major Italian tour operator, Alpi Tour. Uh, during the time, during 2017, actually, I started working in what was called then crypto, and as somebody has said, and then uh, imagined a federation of loyalty programs for hotel chains based on blockchain. That, that failed spectacularly. Uh, but lesson learned. And now, since January, I am actually working at Peakwork, doing exactly that again. So uh, the idea, Peakwork is a, is, a, is a software company, it's an enterprise software company serving the big guys in the distribution, especially space out of Germany. And I'm leading there uh, a business unit that basically tries to transport to Web3 some of the mechanics that are uh, introducing into the sourcing and and distribution space in the travel industry, where probably moving them to Web3 solves some of the endemic problems, as in ease of settlement, no need for reconciliation among you know payment transaction and actual touristic payload, etc. So it's very exciting. We have a few products that kind of mimic or implement for for the big guys something that some of my co-competitors at the conference, we're gonna do more uh, on, a, on a setup level, but we're mainly building that fabric that enables big guys then to, to implement those stuff, that stuff in in Web3. So mainly loyalty and mainly playing in with ancillaries and see how ancillaries can basically be crowdsourced or you know sourced in destination and then coming up upstream onto the traveler or travel you know supply chain until the tour operator until the the consumer and then having that product resellable and a lot of other use cases uh, at the conference i'm going to talk about uh, on ramp and off ramping uh, from legacy systems in the travel industries being the channel manager be the crs be you know the the various apis that we're used to work with in the travel industry and and having that payload coming on chain and then off chain again without losing, hopefully, uh, too much of information. And I'm also very, very glad to hear that we'll have other speakers talking about digital identity for a travel, et cetera, because we believe that is so convincing the big guys that connect your wallet is a valid way of, you know, of working with their customers is something that is exciting and would disclose a lot of super use cases. So very glad to hear about that. Very glad to 
to, to say my say around that same topic and maybe we can collaborate after the conference as well. So looking forward to it. That's awesome. Yes, um, we definitely need that kind of aggregator ecosystem that brings everything that's been building together. So uh, like right now we're seeing a lot of brands like um, I think uh, uh, air travel companies or even hotels giving away NFT, NFT tickets or NFT memberships. Um, but then those will kind of be all disparate in their own ecosystem. So how do we aggregate all this and give um, users the best experience being able to explore travel experiences and pick and choose from different ones? Um, so yeah, I'm seeing a lot of really been, um, needed, much needed infrastructure being built right now um, from the ground up. So layer one, digital ID, platforms like the travel and then even the uh, user activations and brand activations as well so it's a whole uh, the whole ecosystem is being supported which is really great to see i think we have our last speaker here for today uh, who is joshua joshua would you like to say a few words hey guys um i think i'm going to uh, leave it on this one and matt will do on the part two if that's okay with you all right, no problem. So maybe I can introduce myself quickly as well. Uh, my name is Carla. I am a marketing and PR expert by trade. I've been working exclusively with companies um, in the Web3 space uh, for about six years now. Um, so just um, organizing a lot of events in this space um, and marketing campaigns and so on for brands and celebrities coming into uh, the Web3 industry and helping them do that authentically. Um, I'm also the co-founder of a Web3 and travel community called Trippy Sailors Adventure Club. Um, we are... A, um, our first proof of concept is tra uh, real travel jobs for our community. So we have partnered with uh, sailing industry expert, uh, Katamaran Guru, and we'll be giving away sailing trips to our um, holders. Um, so that's an initial proof of concept. And then we also plan to have a DAO where we charter uh, boats and jets around the world and give timeshare through NFT membership um, as well. So. Um, I won't be speaking at the event, but I will be moderating and helping um, promote this big movement that is happening in the Web3 and travel space. And I'm very excited about that. I hope you're giving away some of those NFTs. I would love a, a, a timeshare yeah, to join the wait list. Or something. Yeah, nice. So right now we have the wait list and we're also considering to do a few different jobs where it's like, some will have direct access to yacht and sailing trips, and some will be more of a raffle based, um, so different tiers, um, and really, really testing out like real utility um, for, for NFTs. All right, so before we leave, I would just like to hear from um, everyone, everyone who has something to say, just something that's really exciting to you about um, the Web3 and travel um industry and vertical that you're building in um so please feel free to jump in i think what i'm excited about is that whenever people talk about web3 and travel it's such a small group today that we literally know everybody else and it feels really nice right because it's like we're not an insider group but just we're on the ground with the first and so when we look back in 10, 20 years, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, I knew Luca and I knew Sha uh, Shana and I knew Pablo and like we were all working together back then to shape this industry into what it is today. So it's like a really cool pivotal moment in Web3 travel history. I agree. I think, um, you know, my exposure, I've really been in it for the last, I would say year in the trenches. And I think the inclusivity and the collaboration and the curiosity that everyone has to solve problems and support each other together um, has been really refreshing. And I think there's only so many opportunities, especially in tech, where everyone is trying to solve and create together. Um, and I think, and, and we only move forward together. And so I think that's what um, motivates me and excites me. Maybe I can say something about the face that Hotelier make 
and the haha moment that they have when when you explain to them that by connecting a wallet they would actually be able to read their anonymous visitors you know travel history or preferences etc so hence you know hyper personalizing the offer etc so you really see people lightening up and say ah oh, i can do that for real okay that's the time i might you know fulfill my dreams i I might make use of my CRM, et cetera. So that's super exciting. I think the nice part is really that the industry now is catching up a little thing. I mean, a lot of attention was now diverted to AI and ChatGPT and all that thing, but uh, I think that hype will go over um, and a lot of people will realize that actually having like a verified internet is the first priority we should be working on in our industry. And as you said, China, uh, completely resonates with me. Travel today is broken. I mean, we've been talking about seamless travel and seamless travel experience for our guests and uh, improving processes since ages, since I joined actually the travel industry. And now with this technology, I really think we have a chance to do better than we do today. And I think everybody is uh, benefiting from it. So it's an open technology. Everybody can build different kind of use cases. What I'm super excited about is Literally, with each partner we talk, there are new use cases. And the longer you dig into into the technology and the possibilities, and it's a lot of things also evolving, the more we can see what we can solve and what the potential is. And it's a collaborative technology at the end of the day. And as that has been pointed out by several of you, I think the collaboration part is, at the beginning at least, very, very nice. Uh, Luca, you said it properly. It's not yet time to become... Uh, competitors it's more to work together and uh, i hope uh, the industry will make a leapfrog in the next few days and years i'm excited about the composability of this industry as cynthia was saying you know in 10 20 years we're gonna look back but i don't think we're gonna build verticals which don't talk to each other because this is web trick so maybe we're gonna um, you know some of us are gonna use the d travel passport for their business somebody's gonna use maybe the nft from legends, um, I'm sure many are gonna use Camino. Uh, you know, we we're gonna use stuff we build in you know, in a permissionless way, I suppose. So we will not only we not only start to get and then go in different directions, but we will also use the the things we we build together. We using we build. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, very exciting. I think what Luca was saying is that we are actually building the tools that we'll be using and they're all interconnected in in a way. Um, and they all form this ecosystem that will be beneficial to so many from, from the end user to, to brands looking to make the move into Web3 um, and even the new native um, companies that are being built right now that will benefit from everything that's be, being built. Um, today and maybe it will take five years maybe it will take 10 years maybe even less who knows like I mean we've seen it with with art with the music nfts with gaming nfts they all have this this moment of aha moment where it, where it clicks and um it's just it's just a wave so I um I feel like um the more people learn about web3 technologies the more they understand that it has so many applications in so many verticals of our lives um, and travel is just an obvious one that's also very exciting because it's all about leisure, having fun, and who doesn't like to to have fun and travel and enjoy experiences. Um, so for me, that that's also the exciting part is that it's actually something that so many people can relate to, uh, right? Everyone likes to to travel, likes to enjoy. Uh, custom experiences like airbnbs or hotels or uh, resorts so um, things like that so i think that's just uh, something that brings a lot more people can bring a lot more people into it um and there's also just such a big industry uh with hotels and um, tr um travel lines and all kinds of applications and if they all implement a little bit of this technology can snow snowball very fast um so that's that's what's exciting to me um and also i'm just excited to continue working with these beautiful people that are building amazing things so we're early um, and we are building together and very excited to see where, where this brings us next all right i think it was a great um first 
quick presentation of, of our speakers and uh, we're going to have a second one with the, the other speakers. Uh, thank you, Carla, for hosting and moderating this uh, this this call. And uh, well, we'll see you all in Barcelona. I mean, not all. Carla, you you said you, you won't be coming, right? You're in, in, the, in the States, I think. So, uh, but uh, maybe maybe next one, the one in 2024. So thank you for that. And thank you, everybody. Bye.